Why hello there everybody. Welcome back to the Grateful Trekker channel. Today we are at Canal Park in Duluth and we're going to take a walk around and we're going to go out and check out the lighthouse. So come on with and enjoy. Alright so this is where we stayed the night last night at the Suites Hotel here in Canal Park. At Waterfront Plaza. And we're just checking out. Thought I'd give you a little view of what it looks like in here. A couple of restaurants. There's a Red Lobster over there and a pizza place over there and a brewery right here. This is the lobby. And then all right, well, that's the hotel basically. The suites are really nice. They're multi-bedrooms with uh, full kitchens, so highly recommend it. Total backpacking carnage at the hotel. Dishwasher, microwave, full fridge. Extra bed. Two drying. And we got a little munchkin here in the main bedroom. Next, we're going to go down here and check out DeWitt Seltz Marketplace. I'm not 100% sure what all is in there, but it's a marketplace with multiple little shops in it. And we're going to check that out. Then we're going to actually go down to the drawbridge, go check out the lighthouse, and maybe Park Point. All right, here's DeWitt Seltz, or Sites, excuse me, DeWitt Sites Marketplace. Pardon me for that. Looks like it has a smokehouse, uh, some sort of market, uh, restaurant, and we'll check out what else is there. But check this out. There is the original Duluth Pack shop. Let's go check it out. For anybody that canoes, you know what a Duluth Pack is. Um, they are amazing packs. They're an amazing Mac, uh, pat, blah, 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 pack maker <laughs> since 1822. They specialize in canvas. And uh, they also have branched out into like bushcraft type stuff too, but they're primarily for canoeing. Let's go check them out. So, like I was saying, good canvas gear. This one is it's an open system on the inside usually on these. This one has two uh, flare outs. As you can see, they are not cheap. I have a number three pack which is probably over here on the other side. So this is the one I have. It's a number three and it, it works really well. I really like it. Um, these run about 300 bucks. I used to have a number two also. Stop it. But I don't know what happened to it, and I also I do have a small kind of satchel one that is quite old, probably from the 40s or 50s, that uh, I need to do a little bit of repair on. But uh, that's the extent of my Duluth packs. But everybody out there, comment down and let me know if you've ever used them and what you think about them. All right, well, that's the Duluth Pack store. We're gonna go check out the market now. Let's go. All right, we're at the marketplace. Let's go check that out. It was cool, I did pick up some SHT section maps where we're gonna be heading so I can do a little bit more research on them while we're up. And uh, let's see what's in here. Looks like they got a whole bunch of shops going up that way. Let's see. All right, so the downstairs is mostly restaurants. There's a basement with a bakery. Um, these are a really cool building. Up here on the second floor, 
mostly just kind of boutique shops and clothing and stuff. I don't know how much more of this we're going to go through uh, before we go check out the park. So the upstairs is a stringed instrument shop. Pretty cool little boutique kind of marketplace, but yeah, kind of touristy. I'm not really gonna hang around it much more longer. Let's go. So this is Grandma's. Uh, this is what the marathon up here is named after, Grandma's Marathon. It's basically an institution up here. Um, everybody should try to go there at least once in their life. I've been there, I've done that, I don't need to go back. And here is the bridge, excuse me, there's one of the little lighthouses there, and the reason why they call this Canal Park is because there was a canal here, Lake Superior's out there, but all of the boats unload over here. It's a very major hub for grain and iron ore. And on this side, down this way, that is the St. Louis River down there. There is Bong Bridge. And there's Lake Superior. And there's a loon. There it goes. That was pretty cool. We're gonna go uh, check out this lighthouse now. One of three that are on this. Um, there's a park there and over there there's a really nice beach. Let's see if you can see it. There. Alright, so the main reason why you can't go in here isn't 100% because of safety, but that's probably a big part of it. It's also because it is still a functional lighthouse. Yeah, what's up? Alright. Finian on the go. Here. Pretty cool place. I love Lake Superior. For those that don't know, I was actually born in this town. I never lived here, but I was born here. I do want to uh, see how cold this water is though. <laughs> that is chilly. <laughs> that ain't no prop. <laughs> that is a big propeller. 
All right, we are about to go check out the Lake Superior Maritime Visitor Center. Let's go. This is part of the U.S. Corps of Engineers. And up here, I guess they have some uh, kind of museum stuff. I went to the exit. Oops. Shows you how backwards I am. Oh. Ship's Pilot House, 1920s. Oh. What do you think, Finian? Up there. Oh. Here, why don't you steer the boat? Full speed ahead. Oh, look at this old underwater tank suit, underwater diving suit. These are weights to keep you on the bottom. There's a replica of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Here's a recreation of what it looks like on the bottom of Lake Superior. There's some replicas of sleeping quarters that some of these ships may have had. Seating area. And bunk beds. This would have been a 1905 passenger steamer, second class cabin. And here is a two man crew cabin on a freighter. A little bit more crude bunk bed. Sink. Trust of drawers. Porthole. And a little place for life jackets. All right, that's the Army Corps of Engineers Maritime Visitor Center. This time I'm going out the exit instead of trying to go in it. And it's right here by the bridge. Now I think it's time to go uh, check out some more ice cream. All right, so we are here at Love Creamery and we are going to be doing an ice cream flight. Six different flavors. Mm. Okay, so we got the flight. The whiskey one's melting fast. We're gonna eat that, and uh, then we'll go from there. And we'll see what you guys all think of the flavors. Yeah. Can you put that one down? <laughs> that is not a bite. <laughs> I know. I was... We gotta eat this one that's melting first. Everybody over here and try it. Is there alcohol in it? Yeah, it's a whiskey pecan. Give it a try. Mmm, good. Some salt. What do you think? Great. I like it. Let's just eat it down to there so it's not melting over the top. Then we'll move to another flavor. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, give it another try. What do you think? It's okay. Alright, which one do you want to try next? Um, 
This one. This one. That one I want to save for last. Okay, oh, what's this, this one? This one. This one is going to be toasted coconut fudge. This one? Yep. Let's give it a try. Uh, what's this one? Everybody try the same one. Oh. It's just asking what this one is. We'll get to it. It's a surprise. Mmm. Hot tub. Let's just try each one one at a time. Where do you want to go, Stephen? No, this. Okay, this is the buttermilk vanilla. Let's give it a little taste. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Um, let's go to this raspberry pineapple that Finian tried. It's a sorbet. Mm. Oh, wow. It tastes like sherbet. It is sherbet. <laughs> okay, last, or the last of these one. Now, the last two we got are a little weird. Finian got this one. It's a vegan lavender honeycomb. Mmm, mm. that lavender really comes through. And it works. That's really good. All right, mystery flavor. Everybody get get a nice little spoonful of this. <laughs> Alright, a little impractical to eat out of these, but I think that's just the vanilla one again. Alright, everybody. Hmm. There we go. Oh, let's put it on. What do you think it is? It is goat cheese and cherry. Yeah. Yum, we're gonna sit here and enjoy this and we'll catch you later. How was it? That was great. I really recommend this. Who would have known? And these are goat cheese favorite. and ice cream go good together. So does lavender, so does buttermilk. Well, that was our little trip around Canal Park. We did not hit every one of it. We were only here for about an hour and a half um, today doing this little tour. But we got places to go, things to do. Time to start heading up the North Shore.